open. You know? Wheat, barley, rye, that wonderful sticky stuff that makes bread rise and makes things chewy. The thing that has been so near and dear to the hearts of people all over the world until recently. Yes, gluten. You walk through the store and you see all these things like gluten-free granola bars and gluten-free bread and bagels and English muffins and enchiladas. It is impossible to make good tasting things without gluten, but everybody shuns gluten. You walk around and you see these posters of propaganda and they say that you should fear the gluten and you should shun the gluten and that the gluten is going to kidnap your babies and there are pictures in the poster of pancakes dropping from the sky and exploding into wonderful bits of gloriousness but everybody is running away because nobody wants to be touched by the gluten. They would rather have their soy. I understand that it makes some people sick but do you know what? I get sick and nauseous from people making out in the street. I get sick and nauseous from people relieving themselves in public. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to substitute them with cornmeal. Did you ever think of how the gluten feels? The gluten that has been so loved for so many years and now all of a sudden it is being abandoned. Gluten has been there for us, holding our sandwiches together and giving us irritable bowels. And now everybody wants to forsake wheat. Well, guess what? The wheat will never forsake you. It will always be there waiting for you to come back. We cannot eat normal sandwiches anymore. We cannot eat normal cookies anymore. We cannot eat normal bagels or brownies. We cannot eat a normal bowl of cereal. We cannot eat a gingerbread man. We cannot run, run as fast as we can. We cannot run, run and catch the gingerbread mans because they are made out of gluten. What is the world coming to when we cannot trust our grains anymore? Gluten may give you headaches and bloating and diarrhea and, and make you grow weird appendages. Gluten may give you rashes in the shape of cauliflowers and rabbits. But gluten, it holds things together. It holds the world together. And we must not forsake the gluten. So listen. Listen to the heart inside of your bagel. It is telling you to eat it. Eat it good. You've got to embrace the gluten. Feel it stick to your insides. You've got to ingest the gluten. Let it cushion your raw hide You've got to feel the gluten Even if it gives you hives You've got to embrace